Okay, folks, let's see what we got here with this. This will be a real, real challenging one. I don't know how we're going to make this one turn out. If it's going to turn out. If it's just going to be a source of drama, well, so be it. This is what we're all about here at this place and this, with this photocopier art. A little bit of drama, a little bit of unpredictableness, unpredictability. I don't know how this is going to work. I've done one like it before and it worked really well after a long battle with it. Okay. Okay, let's see how we go with this. Okay, it is. I don't know if it's a spectacle or a um, sunglass lens. It's got a nice little rainbowish um, pat shine to it. Bit of a rain. I'm going to move it around. I don't know how I'm going to make this look any good. This is going to be really challenging. So I'm going to hold it like that and angle it and move it around. I don't know if that's turned out. Real looks interesting. I did get a little purple flash off it, but that's not good enough, folks. It's not quite what I'm after. So we're just going to maybe work with it. Going to maybe lighten it off. Now yellow toner needs replenishment. Uh, we've got this nice little flash there, but it's not enough. I think we're going to just change our toner and maybe, maybe just change our toner. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Sorry, folks, about the drama. That has to be done. It's part of running a photocopier is running is when you run out of toner, you have to replace it. So we're just going to just remove the old cartridge got toner coming off on there it looks a bit messy I don't want to get that all over the fucking floor if I can avoid it I do want do not want to have to have someone vacuum it up accidentally because toner is a fire hazard to vacuum um, I'm just going to put the uh, phone down and shake the new cartridge and remove the little orange label so I'm just going to keep just shake the toner cartridge and we're just going to remove the little orange seal that comes it comes with and we're just going to get it ready and we're going to slip it back in so I'm just going to line it up so that's our yellow toner lock it in it's a bit plasticky and shitty we're going to lose all our settings, folks, which is the downside of replacing a toner cartridge. Is the, you, the way the machine was made is that oh, it's really silly the way they've made it, but that's how they've made it, unfortunately. So you have to start again from scratch. removing the black so we're just going to take this lens 
Ah, oh, fuck. Dropped it. Clumsy. Get a bit butterfingery with these sorts of things. Anyway, that's come up looking really quite interesting without the black. Uh, I don't like it still. It's not showing much of an interest. Uh, going to try another one. Maybe I'm going to enlarge it a bit. I don't know if this is going to work, folks. Look shit house, folks. I was looking at that little bit there. Oh, I just farted, folks. The arts are the farts and the farts are the arts. Yeah, that's what I hate about art, folks. It's really, you could say it's a real fart of a thing. The art world, it's really like, so, yeah, whatever. Just gonna put this aside. Sorry, folks, about fucking around. But yeah, I really fucking hate the art world. They really... They really um, get bogged down in the establishment of things. They don't like to try anything new. Well, photocopier art has been around for decades, but it hasn't been uh, really greatly recognised. And I'm trying to get on the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9 to um, blow that away, so to speak. And I'm not doing very well with this original. This original's not the best. It's really difficult. I actually got something else I'd like to use in conjunction with this original. I'm going to do something different. Uh, let's just go here into my humble abode further in and we're just going to take this piece of alfoil that I ripped off just in case I, because I knew this one was going to be a stubborn one to work with. So I'm just going to put that lens up in the corner and I'm just going to put behind it this scrunched up piece of uh, alfoil to make it look more interesting. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. I'm going to put, I'm probably going to put the black back into it. So this will be a, an interesting piece, hopefully. Yeah, that's come up looking really quite interesting, actually. Um, you can see some nice little sharp bits there. I wonder what happens if we make it into a negative image. If we're going to make this into a negative, maybe add a, a background colour. Oh, I forgot one thing, folks. I forgot to switch the switch it to dark. Now it, now it should work. So this is experimental stuff, folks. Photocopier art has been well known as an experimental form of art. Uh, and it still is. 
even decades after it was first recognised, but it doesn't get much recognition now. Uh, not many people actually do it anymore. It's not a very popular art form anymore. It's gone gone to rack and ruin, but I want to bring it back and I'm trying to get on uh, the Channel 9 6 o'clock news. I'm going to maybe put that back. Maybe change it to pink. But basically I'm trying to get this on the 6 o'clock news to get in touch with my partner Luigi who also shares my passion and who's really who loves me and I really miss him to pieces I really wish to be reunited with him it's really difficult trying to do that I need Channel 9's help I need them to help me to get my stuff to go to air otherwise I'll never find Luigi and that would be a tragic loss at least for me it would be a tragic loss so that's magenta and yellow. I do wonder which one we're going to utilise. I'm going to use that one. But basically I'm trying to get in touch and it's proving to be really, 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 really difficult um, to get my stuff to go there up on the airwaves, to get my stuff recognised, to be able to... Um, work as an artist and live as an artist more than instead of a person with living with disability because it's really difficult being disabled and having to having to live with it folks it's really not fun um not having enough money to afford the the, the practical the um important things in life like I have to ration my uh, hot water use which means I don't take I take a shower once a week instead of once every day or twice a day and I wash my hair once a fortnight so you can imagine it gets a bit grungy and it's really difficult uh, trying to make ends meet on a low budget on on living working in what would be called a sheltered workshop or, or what they now call an ADE, an Australian Disability Enterprise. You don't make much money like that um, and it's really difficult so I'm trying to get off this, I'm trying to get into the limelight, uh, I'm trying to get in touch with my partner and it really is proving to be really difficult to do that. I don't feel like the news channels really care and I'm appealing to Channel 9 because they're my only hope, in my opinion, that I'm going to get any kind of place and I just didn't do that properly. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here, folks. This one's a difficult one. I actually think I might make it into a movement piece. I'll move it, make it into a movement piece. That's come up looking quite interesting. Um, not quite what I'm after. Um, but I'm really missing Luigi and I really need to get in touch with him and it really is proving to be difficult trying to do that without the cooperation of the media. And the media is the, indeed the 6 o'clock news on Channel 9, which I'm appealing to. And I just don't feel like they're really wanting to cooperate. They just have their own agenda and their own way of doing things. I actually think we're going no, we're going to leave it on that. They just have their own agenda and they don't they just care about the rich and the famous and the already successful. They don't care about people like myself who are who are sinking, who who are talented and have p potential. But I'm, I've never felt like I've mattered to people, folks. I've always been a teasing and bullying victim when I was at school and in my and up until I was about 40 people used to take the fuck out of me and piss me up, piss me off 
and they used to just take the piss out of me all the time and they used to hate me and treat me like shit and that's part of the reason why I'm here because I believed in them I believed their bullshit I believed their crap when I shouldn't have I shouldn't have believed it folks but I did and I regret it I do I regret it I really regret not believing in myself not believing in who I was and who I am I really wish I didn't believe in those bitches. They are, they're bitches, folks. Fucking bitches. I'm going to use this again. So I'm really trying... You know, even my dad and my brother hate me. You know, they hate my guts. They're fucking assholes and they hate my art. And that's because I made mistakes when I was young. And they, I don't believe in them. Definitely not. They get the middle finger, my dad and my brother. Stupid assholes. And I don't like them. I can't. And that's come up looking really quite interesting. Uh, I don't know how this is going to look. utilize that one I don't know how it's going to look but yeah I really find my dad and my brother really hate me because I did stupid things when I was young including believing in those bitches at school and believing the people at my local at my church I don't I had people at church that treated me in a very unchristian manner they treated me like I was worthless and they made me feel worthless, so the combination of the schoolies, as I call them, and the churchies, equals trouble. And that equals me being treated like shit, and me being hating upon myself enough to upend my own life, because I believed in these fucktards, instead of believing in myself and my talent. And believing that Luigi really wanted to love me as a person and not just feel sorry for, for me, not just feeling sorry for me, but he loved me and cared for me. And I didn't know that I had someone who really loved me. I really didn't know it, folks, until it was too late. So, folks, if you ever find yourself getting teased and bullied, don't believe in the bitches. Just give them the middle finger and say, I'm going to be myself, and that's final. Stuff use. So, yeah, be yourself and just... Give them, you don't have to actually give them the middle finger. I don't advise you to do that. But if you could just give them the middle finger in your head and just make, and just be yourself, you can go a long way, folks. You don't need to be better than them. You don't need to be, you don't have to be like them. You don't have to be trendy and cool and all that. You know, you've got to be yourself. That's something that's taken a long time to learn, folks. Because I hated myself. And hating yourself, people aren't going to be as sympathetic as you'd think they are. And you'd hope they are. They're just going to come down on you harder. And they're going to treat you worse like shit than ever. If you fucking allow them to hate you. Now, I don't know if I like this colour scheme. It looks shithouse. And this is wishy-washy shit. This is not a very good demo, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, but, you know, you get that with demos like this. But yeah, you just got to be yourself, folks. You can't just allow yourself to be run over like a racetrack just because you're different, just because you're not the same as they are. You don't let them run you over, folks. It's come up looking really quite interesting. Uh, I think we'll turn off the uh, pink. I don't know what to do with this one, folks. I really don't know what to do. 
really don't know what I'm doing with this one, but ba basically, yeah, this is not working as well as I'd like it to. I don't know why I chose this stupid bloody sunglass lens in the first place. I knew this was going to be a difficult one. Uh, I knew it was going to be fucking hard. Um, I did. I knew it. I knew it from the very beginning. I'm going to use this as is. I like that golden look. I don't like the green, but I'm going to say fuck it. Just like I'm saying fuck it to the bullies at school and the, and the snobs at church who I call the churchies. Well, they're going to get the fucking middle finger like this work I'm doing is getting, in some ways, my own middle finger. That I fucked it up and I'm going to fuck it and make it look better. So I'm not going to fucking have walk away with a piece of shit. So I'm just going to maybe um, check the hue. I think we've got the hue set nicely. Twenty one minutes, twenty seconds and counting. Folks, this is a tough one. Actually, this has come up looking a treat. Look at that lovely red, that lovely colour. I do like it. I think we can work with it, folks. Finally, finally I'm showing this demo who's boss. But, you know, it doesn't always come off like that, folks. Sometimes you do get the odd bum note. And you get more bum notes even from easy, so-called easy pieces. And you're only human when you don't... Because not everyone... Everyone makes mistakes and everyone uh, makes blunders and fucks things up. I, I know I shouldn't be hard on myself for what happened when I was young and, and now that I've ended up a 50-year-old virgin uh, and I'm now postmenopausal, you know, I don't have all the, all the sexiness anymore in my body and if Luigi and I are going to have sex when we get married, of course, is when we have to put I have to have uh, what do they call it hormone replacement therapy uh, personal lubricant doesn't sound all that romantic but that's what we're going to need in that our age I don't know I think he's 50 something as well probably 52 and he's probably suffering possibly erectile dysfunction that's, that can happen at that age so he he'll have to get treatment himself so we have to get patched up with medicine in order to have actually have any kind of sex. So, yeah. So, yeah, don't let the bitches tear you to pieces, folks. Show them who's, who's boss. Anyway, that's come up looking quite colourful. I think we can now call this demo quits. <laughs>